how to use a pencil. This shouldn't be a video, but it is, because in Illustrator, if you use the defaults, you get this. <laughs> this is meant to be a chili. <laughs> Don't be mean. All right, but if you change just a few little settings inside of Illustrator, you get this. Look, much more better. Kia ora, my name is Dan Scott. I'm an Adobe certified instructor, chili lover, and chief illustrator course creator at bringyourownlaptop.com. And today, you're gonna get good with the pencil tool. All right, to start, let's find the pencil tool. It's hiding underneath the paintbrush tool here. If you hold the paintbrush tool down, 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 there it is, pencil tool. Make sure you're on the right layer, okay? So you're not, uh, so it's not locked. And what you might find is when you start drawing, you might end up with like nothing. What is up with this? We've done this before, right? You're like, hmm, how do I double check there's something there? Remember Command or Control Y? There you go, that's kind of outline view or the X-ray view. So it's there, it's just got no color. So I'm gonna select all of this and delete it. When I grab my pencil tool, just double check. I don't wanna fill, because you might end up with a fill, you might have picked a stroke, okay? But you also might have a fill and it'll do this. Actually, the fill went away. <laughs> don't worry about what the fill is. Um, just make sure you got a stroke. I'm using white because it's going on top of this kind of darkish background. All right, so let's get to know the pencil tool. By default, it's not very good. And watch this. I'm going to try and draw a chili. All right, it's going to have this bit and it's going to come over here. We're doing my secret sauce thing. And we'll draw some kind of like top on it. <laughs> uh, I'm going to make the stroke bigger so you can see it. That is my chili. <laughs> Ah, uh, it gets better, don't worry. And um, so what we're gonna do is make the pencil tool better. Let's put that over there. And um, let's get the pencil tool to actually do our bidding. So to change it, remember what we did before? How did we get into some of those settings to be able to change them? Can't remember what tool we did it for. Okay, but if you double click the tool, it opens up some of the tool options. A quick little edit to the video is uh, in the past, you could only get to the tool options by double clicking the tool, which we just did. Uh, but now if you select the tool, you'll see over here in the properties panel, you'll see at the top there, if you've got the tool selected, you can go to tool options. Okay, and I imagine that's there for all the tools now. All right, new and fancy. Uh, it doesn't really matter how you get there. You want these uh, pencil tool options open. Let's carry on. Okay, so in else, it's trying to be very accurate. I want it to be super smooth and try and make us look good. So let's do that and let's draw the same thing. So you, you, much better. It's not very good chili still, but look at that line, so much nicer. Need to keep drawing it. But there's another thing that's kind of weird. So uh, the pencil tool is the shortcut key is N. You won't use it enough to remember that one, unless you're a trainer like I am, is watch this. Let's say I draw this, I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna grab N for the pencil tool and I'm gonna draw this and draw there and then you're like, I'm gonna draw something else. And it joins it up, you're like, huh, now it's replacing it. It does all sorts of weird stuff by default. Mm, I find it unintuitive, you might love it, but uh, how do I change it? That's right, the tool options, double click it. So we're gonna say, I don't wanna keep it selected and that kind of does it for us. Or you can turn this one off. You can keep it selected if you want and say edit the selected paths. I don't want either one of these on because I don't use them. All right, let's click OK. So now when I draw stuff, okay, come on, beautiful chili. I really want to get a tablet out or a Wacom. Good enough. I have a little stroke there for it. Let's give it a little jiggle across there and some kind of nubbin along the top. All right, good enough. Um, the pencil tool is great to kind of get in this, like obviously hand drawing style, okay? But you can go and edit it like you did the pen tool, okay? So grab the direct selection tool, okay? And you can click on the paths and you can say, oh look, here's all my anchor points, look at that. I can go and say, let's have a look at the end here and say actually I want, that was cool, but this point here was a bit low and mm, maybe we've got too many points. Maybe a pen tool, which is the P key, get rid of one of them just by clicking on them. Maybe we don't need that one either. Go back to the direct selection tool. So you can throw in some stuff with the pencil tool, okay? And then do your edits like we did with either the curvature tool or the direct selection tool or the pen tool or the combos. All right, that's the start, pencil tool. Uh, well, first pencil tool. <laughs> that's why sometimes when you're learning Illustrator, you're like, Illustrator sucks. <laughs> Look at that. Or I suck, I'm a bad drawer. But then you're like, ooh, if I crank up the smoothing, nobody will know, I'm an amazing drawer. There you go. All right, so just a couple little tweaks to that tool and the tool becomes super more useful. 
Uh, the next kind of like super more useful step with the pencil tool is to switch your regular old mouse, okay, this one here, to uh, something like this, like a pen tablet. So this is a Sense Labs one, um, it's the medium size, uh, it's really good. Um, and basically you just end up using like a pencil to draw instead of your mouse. The Wacom do one as well, that, those are the two that I've tried that are really good. Um, are they essential? No, you can get quite far with a mouse, but if you are doing lots of drawings, something like that is super cool and makes you look super cool as a creative type person with that on your desk. Um, there is a part of it though, <laughs> where you wait there that doesn't make you look super cool. Kind of ruins the super cool mystique, wait there. This. This part of it <laughs> ruins the cool guy mystique. <laughs> okay, uh, it is a partial glove. So when you're holding the tablet and you can move nicely on, it doesn't kind of interact with the tablet. It's not essential, some people like it. I like to wear it when nobody's around. <laughs> That's weird. All right, weird glove or not, uh, lots of the features in Illustrator kind of have this like, by default are good, but with a few little tweaks, you can kind of get amazing results out of them. And if you're like, <gasps> Uh, if only there was a step-by-step -step course that went through all of them from beginner to advanced and kind of showed me all the best ways to use them. Guess what? I made a course. I uh, made two of them. So Illustrator Essentials and Illustrator Advanced. There's about 300 videos in total for both of these courses and I've kind of jam-packed them with short kind of structured bite-sized aha moments. Kind of like this video. The best bit is we get to do class projects together, we set monthly design challenges, there's teaching assistance to help out, there's a quiz, there's an all important certificate too. Anyway, if you're keen to enroll, there'll be links to those in the description. All right, that is it. That is the pencil tool in Illustrator. My name is Dan Scott, and I will see you again. Hi, da da. He's wearing the glove, isn't he? <laughs> he is. I kind of like it. <laughs>